Today we're going to be fishing using the planer boards for catfish. Stay tuned. On this planer board, the way you know which way it goes is this faces you. You could also see the stickers facing up. Your float is going to go on top. Just run your line through here first, which they have different methods you can attach it. This is just a quick clip that you would clip your line through. And then you're going to clip this on there. And that's going to allow this to stay in place. The way that this pulls, this one pulls to the left, this one pulls to the right. So it's when you look at it this way with the sticker facing up and the float on top, if this is on the right, it pulls to the left. If it's on the left, it pulls to the right. And basically what these do is they move your outer drifting or trolling lines. They move them out so that you can drift or troll more lines out there for these big catfish. So you can do a few lines in the middle going straight out from the back of your boat. Yeah. And then you can do more lines than you normally could on the outside of those two by using these planer boards. And they move your lines out to the side so that they don't get tangled up. You need to have these if you're gonna try to troll or drift multiple lines for catfish. Okay, so looking back at all these rods here, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, and he's baiting one up. So there's six rods that we're gonna be putting out behind us as we drift for the catfish. And he's actually gonna do planer boards on the two outer rods. So one planer board's gonna take it way out, and that one's gonna be farthest back. That's gonna be this one, believe it or not. And then this one, on the outside it's going to be a little shorter and it's not going to go out as far and that's going to keep these two outer rods out to the side and then these two in the middle straight back and then two more out to the side so however crazy you want to get you could even add, add three of these to one side okay so the rig that we're going to be drifting for these fish it's almost like a santee cooper rig basically there's a float a couple inches away from your hook here we're trying to use about a dollar size piece of bait and we're using various baits today just to see what bites the best we're using chicken breast chicken liver shad mullet okay so this is basically your your dropper weight this is what's going to pull your rig down here consisting of that float and hook this is what's going to keep it down at the bottom where the fish are and this is basically a woven nylon bag holding a bunch of split shot and it's soft and flexible that keeps it from getting caught up on stuff on the bottom now this drift weight is on a slider okay so on this side of the boat now there's one there one there and then two in the middle Two more on the other side these two out to the side i'll try to zoom in on them when i edit this they're up in here uh they're being held out there by those planer boards no sir what is that mullet yeah yeah Okay, so you want to throw your line out and then you're going to clip this on first real easy and then this goes above it. Just make sure you get your line all the way into this holder there and that's going to hold it in place. And then you drop this down into the water and let it drift behind you as, as far back as you want it to go.
Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I don't. Remember I mentioned that, that somebody was gonna eat it and we'd forget what it was? Jeez. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put another planer board on. Clip it. And then add this clamp. You wanna make sure you run your line all the way in. Drop it into the water and let out line until it gets to the distance behind the boat that you want and once you stop this line the planer board is going to take it and move it out of the way of your middle rods that's the purpose of this planer board I believe so he's not pulling back but oh yeah he's on there He's pulling. Yeah, he is. There he comes, he's coming up. Now everybody's going to them big handles. Mm-hmm. Oh, up. Go ahead and bring it in. Face shots. Over thirty inches. That's a nice eater right there. Can't keep up. Still there? Yeah. You gonna take that off, Red? Hmm? Yeah, I'm waiting to see how big he is. I guess. No, I'm just talking about take that. Clean off? Yeah, I'll get there. All right. Or at least unsnap it anyway. Yeah. All you got to do is uh -huh. unsnap it and let it slide. You want to do that? Just, yeah. That way you can go. Yeah. That way you don't lose it. That's what I thought we were, that, we're supposed to do. Because it'll stop right there where that wave is. You got a net with you? I got the net. No, no net. Yeah. If we were doing a fish fry, we'd be good. You ready? Yeah. Uh, we barely hooked him through the whisker. That guy did. Man, that's a good eater size we caught. Oh. Several of them, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well that's gonna do it for today's trip. We caught several catfish using this drifting method with the planer boards. If you wanna learn more or purchase your own planer board or drifting weight, check out Duck Tracker Slabs on Facebook. Again, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Right. Duck Tracker Slabs are made by hand. Go out and get you some and try them. I think you'll like them. Perfect. Perfect.